So we've got our Halloween stencil from HotWinterNights.com and we just clicked uh, clicked on it and clicked File Print and this is what we get. What we're plan we've never done this before so it's going to be our first attempt. We're just going to cut it out a bit so we don't have so much white space around it. You can go ahead with that. And then we're going to tape it on the side and we assume that you use stencils by mm, taping them on and and then making little dots with a pen. We're going to give that a shot. But first, we're going to scoop out our pumpkin. Yeah, all right. So we've uh, cut it open and with with a knife here, and we got a spoon and scooped her all out. And uh, we're even taking the seeds to bake them up because that's delicious. And now we get on to the next part. So um, I just cut off a bit of the extra here because if you uh, <clears throat> once you tape it on at the top and bottom there, uh, you'll find that uh, this all bunches up if you've got too much. So you tape, you know, you just leave about an inch or so around all the way, and, and that'll be enough. Then you go through the picture with your needle. Oh my goodness! Don't lose the needle. Oh, I found it. Okay. And pop poke, pop poke, pop poke. You just go through. Making uh, making your impression all the way around the pattern. Now this is going to be a simple pattern that anyone can do because it uh, it doesn't have two layers. It'll just go straight through. All right. So all we need to do is mark our outline all the way around. Okay. Just to recap, we've we've got our pumpkin. I've done file print to print off my image. It comes off just at this size. I cut out around it to leave some space tape it on, tape, 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 and then I take a pin or a needle of some sort and just sort of poke, 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 all the way around um, to just to leave a little trace behind. Now, when you remove this to check to see if it looks okay, don't remove all of them. Don't yank the whole thing off. You want to leave one, at least one corner on or two preferably so that you can, um, if you have made a mistake, you can you can put it back on without losing the whole shape. And, oh, it's hard to see in the camera, but I can see with my eyes that that picture is completely intact. I don't see any parts missing. So, there, I don't know, can you see my, my dots? Pretty hard to see. Anyhow, off it comes, and now it's time for me to start cutting. Now, this looks rather big, <laughs> so I don't think I can cut this fine detail with this. Um, leave some comments on this, uh, if you happen to see this, and you know... What do people use? Because I've seen in the dollar stores, they have these little tiny, little, little, little tiny things that look just perfect for it. And I used one last year, and unfortunately, uh, now I haven't haven't done a stencil before, so, <clears throat> but even with a regular shape, it didn't survive because it's you know a cheap dollar store little piece of plastic. It fell apart immediately, useless. Um, what do you use when you're doing these? When you're cutting with something that has um, that's wider than the shape that you're cutting. If you know you need to get it in there to cut all the way through it, make sure that you're cutting into the design that's going to be removed, like this. Say so that part of the design is is going to be removed. Don't cut out into the pumpkin that's remaining. Probably know that, but okay. So I'm having a hard time getting in here because my my knife is so big. I don't really have the proper tools for this. Um, so I'm going to just get rid of this, like this is inside. I'll cut this right off and remove her legs there. That'll let me get in and look at both sides, see. So we'll just take that right out. And doo -doo -doo. There, now I can sort of get in and cut across the lines that I couldn't cut before. Straight in there and straight in there and so on and so forth until I've got it all done. Here in the little feet here, I, I, this part has to stay intact, so be really careful not to cut that right across. <laughs> so uh, I recommend doing this one in a couple, a couple cuts. Just anywhere you see little tiny pieces like that that are integral to the pattern, you know, cut, cut them in tiny pieces. Don't, you know, take it slow. Okay, and this is how I'm going around, around a corner like this, where it's really hard to. So instead of trying to cut around the corner, I'll just cut into the design. Go around a little bit and cut into the design again like that, and then just keep going around until I've gotten around that corner. Okay, I know you don't want advice from someone this is who's doing a stencil for the very first time in his life. However, um, you see right here the things that you run into. This is just being held on by this tiny little piece that I can't, I can't get out. 
So, like I mentioned before, don't try to take it out because it's stuck in there. Just cut that whole thing right off. There you go. Take the big guy out first. Then you can work in here much easier and get that little piece out. No, I'm, almost, I'm almost there now. Um, now, I have quite a big tool here, um, and it's, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to make two little lines there. So I'm going to just make it one line and cut on either side, because that's much more the realm of this one. Now, I thought when I was cutting it that I'd done a, uh, an almost okay job here, but I did cut out too much material, and it's a little bit loose. So I got a solution for that. I'm just going to take a paper clip and cut it. There, I cut a piece off of a paper clip and I'm going to stick it in there to hold it right or maybe stick it in there if I can to hold it up. So there you go. It's not the end of the world. Now if you have a, uh, a toothpick, a wooden toothpick, I think that would probably might even be easier because then you don't have to get anything to cut your paper clip with. Let's try that. And there we go. I did it! Okay. Time to test this out.